Good morning. My name is Osigwe Olomoresoa. My name is Adegu Kola. My name is Mr. Aike. My name is Yomi. My name is Hotel Progress. My name is Cynthia. How long have you been in Global Impact Church? So this should be my fourth or fifth Sunday. Well, this is my first time. Well, this is my three weeks. This is my fifth week. I got invited this month. For two months now. Could you tell me who you invited to Global Impact Church? Uh, a friend invited me through the mission Frank. I came with a friend of mine, a sister in the church. My friend actually invited me to Global Impact Church. Mr. Shola. Two sisters. I can remember one named Sister Ogechi. She invited me and uh, that day, uh, I believe that God wanted me to be here because that very day, I have two days to go somewhere that might cost life taking or something like that. But as God may have it, I went somewhere to buy something. They came in there hoping that I'm the owner of the shop. I'm not. So immediately I walk out. On my way going, I still jam them again. They start talking to me. I told them that I've met you people somewhere before and you are talking to me. From that moment, I don't know when what enters in me, I start relating to them what, what is going on. From that moment, they gave me address. I happened on Saturday, Sunday, I was able to be here and the counseling continue. And since then, I believe God has been doing wonder in my life. I but I didn't know that things will go this way, but I thank God for restoring my hope. Tell me one thing you've learned since you've been coming to Global Impact Church. Uh, so many things. I want to bless God for Sister Faith inviting me down. Before I joined the church, I've been having this emptiness. And the very first day I step in, pastor preached. I could feel that joy I've not felt for a long time. And I also want to thank God for attending the women conference, women of worth and wealth. I really gained a lot during the conference. Yeah, I learned how to be prudent with my spendings and all. Wine and luxury will never make you wealthy. He's talking about people that are just, they just like to be spending. That's been an awesome experience and um, I have taken a lot in and I'm ready to dish it out to the world to impact and to be a blessing to others. Okay, for one, the preachings are very practical. And two, it's a place to be. It's like home, basically. And I would wish for every one of us to also be globally impacted, to come to a church where we could be practical with life experiences, where we love each other, where we're welcoming, and we're just we. There is a lot about Global Impact Church, the praises, the worship, and, and I just love everything about the church, actually. It's really an amazing place to be, and I would really love to be a member of the church. There's a lot of things to learn from here. Would you invite anyone to Global Impact Church? My children are here, but I still want to pull more for Christ from my own Sure, I will. Yes, I would. And I've already invited people. I came with a few of my friends. I'm okay. By me. Yeah, she invited me. Cynthia invited me. I'm very glad I came. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I really love the words that was preached here and everything about this place. It's really amazing. Yeah, I've, I've been doing that. So I've invited a sister. There is a sister here with me last Sunday because I told her that see what happened. I told her things that have been happening and how it was because the sister knew the kind of person I am. That for me to believe and stay put that that means this is a different church entirely. And I can tell you they don't have any cause to regret. Everybody is happy in this church. That's one good thing I see. When you come to the service, you see everybody smiling, very happy. You can't see anybody that's maybe feeling as if it, it is not in this world.